Hi. Today's lecture is not so long. I'm glad if you can find something that you're interested in this lecture. See you later. The title of today's lecture is Can AI Make Designs? Here, the AI is not only artificial intelligence in usual meaning, but also architectural intelligence, the double meaning of AI. This is my website. There are many uh, different genres that I concerned, and today, one of them, this one, iTech field, is a main topic of today. Some of I, I tech I show you today related to the theme, theme of this event. The theme of this event is Science and the City, about science. Once I published a book, the title, Architecture Comes Closer to a Soft Flex Science. Unfortunately, this book is only in Japanese, but published in 2002. And these are the related, my published books, Induction Design, Algorithmic Design, and so on. And this is our uh, international competition, Algodec, Algorithmic Design Quest, International Programming Competition that I organized. It's not a competition requiring architectural design, but requiring a program to solve some problems. And also, this is a symposium I organized. The title, Can AI Make Designs? So, back to science and design. Is it possible to design with science, science seeking to find some formula. So this question translated to, is it possible to design with a formula? For example, this is a very simple formula generating Julia set. The result had so much diversity, but all of them are generated by a very simple one formula. And it is possible to translate the result to the actual architectural design. It makes many variations, but variation is not solution. It's sort of nothing. So, the essential point of science is verifi verifiability. At the opposite place, we can put arbitrariness. This field is called art. Also, art is one time science has reproducibility. Science seeks why, art want what, and between of these opposite items, we can put engineering in between. And engineering aims to get how art. To image, image, engineering to make, science to know. Then we can put to use here and design comes here. Design and art and design and engineering has a close connection. Design is inspired art sometimes and Design has a field of structure engineering or facility engineering and so on. 
so they are related. But how about science? The relationship between design and science is not so strong compared to engineering and art. It's weak. Exist but weak. So art is has arbitrariness. It's a black box. Science has verifiability. It's a white box to make everything clear using logic. Art is generated by intuition. Then about the design. What color of box of design? It may be necessary to make design to gray box, not black, not white, making a more stronger connection with science and turn design field to a gray box may be necessary. Using intuition and logic both of them and then make design to gray box. At the beginning of design, everyone has some dream or dreams. It's an image, concept, theory, vision, and so on in your or our brain. Then we try to realize the dream aiming to reach a goal. Here, many conditions, problems, requirements come to solve. We have to solve these situations and reach the goal, intended goal. But the realized work is like this, not the size of the initial image, initial dream. The size is reduced, always, almost always. Reality is always smaller than the dream. Why? When a person has a dream, then you have a dream, he has dreams, and she has a dream, they have dreams. They are all connected and making conflicts. This situation is not only in the field of dream, but also in the field of design. Here, many problems, subjects, conditions, requirements, criteria, and so on connected. Our brain is not possible to solve this kind of complex relationship. The way to solve this situation is to write down the design process, what is inside our brain, to make it verifiable using or translating algorithm to turn the intuition to our logic. So logic, from logic to design, is it possible? If we can translate logic to algorithm, it is possible to design. This is algorithmic design. So, using algorithmic design, we can solve some requests, some problems, some conditions. Yes, this a green field we can solve using algorithmic design. For example, A dinner table program that I made a long time ago. It's a very simple program. This is a dinner table, and you invite the guests, about 46 guests sitting around this table. You are host. But the guests are divided to some groups, and they had 
the friendly situ relationship or a hostile relationship. So they require the adequate the seat position. For example, number one, uh, this red one and yellow one is in good relationship, but purple one and the green one are hostile, and so on. There are another requirement, and another, and another, another. Using our brain, it's not possible to solve this requirement, but computer program for a program, it's very easy. For this requirement, this is the answer, solution. For this, this is the solution. Then, using such kind of algorithmic design, we can get this field, but this field still remains not possible to solve. That's uh, mainly the realm of imagination. Logic cannot solve the field of image. Then here comes ITECH AI. So this question comes again. Can AI make designs? Is it possible to solve these unsolved area? If it is possible, the realized work is the same size of our initial image. From AI to design, is it possible? There are some or many difficulties in creating a design AI, an AI to make designs. This is a decision tree, starting from here, and there are many branches, and we select yes or no, yes or no, and reach, to a, reach a goal to a goal, this one, or this one, or this one, this one, it's not clear at the beginning, starting and choosing each branches and then reach here. So is it a goal? Usually it's a goal. But in design field, a curious situation occur, a monkey jump effect. Suddenly we jump from one branch to another. There are no connection, so usually this kind of jump never occur, but in design field it sometimes or often occur. In this case, this root has no meaning. Nonsense. Then another jump occur. So why this situation occur? The reason is that we are capricious. We change our mind often. That is the reason the, the branch doesn't work in this field. So the situation is like this. Decision branch lost its power here. And this is not the only difficulties in design AI. Maybe you say, nowadays AI can do many things. In the chess game, AI is stronger than human. In usual computer game also. Yes, that's right. Here, this kind of game one way I exist, and generating some shapes form a single solution exist. The face recognition system feature values 
extractable and composing music, the painting, common language exists. But in design field, there is no winner, no single solution, no feature value, no common language. And love is fickle, are minded, changeable easily. Under this situation, is it possible for AI to make designs? Considering these situations, it's better go back to the future 25 years ago. I started this kind of developing and researching program project in 1994. The first one is called Induction Design or Induction City Series. It's a, a group program of these sub unit programs. These are other main programs that I developed since then, not all. So these are for planning and these are for form and this is for a structure. And then these are realized problems. Using these problems, actual architecture designed and constructed and completed. So first, 1994, induction design, induction city series. These are algorithmic design and this one and this one, AI, ITEC programs. So, induction design. The name of induction comes from this electromagnetic induction. Induction design is composed of these sub-unit programs to get enough sunlight, to get a good street, to get nice and duration, to get adequate energy, to get nice wind, and to make an affordable layout of the functions required to the city. And one result of one program, go to another one, another one, another one, and select a real site and apply all of them. And finally, we can get the ideal, hopefully ideal, city planning. The first one is Sangod City. To get enough sunlight for each housing unit. This is usual solution to separate. Our way is to make a super cube and make many holes. The inside unit can get sunlight, sunlight, sunlight. So this is a result. This one and this one has the same sunlight, the same density, but the solution is completely or I mean, very difficult. This result has so much diversity. This is actual program. And the interesting point of this program, we can change this blue color. This is opposite aim to get minimum sun energy. So maximum and minimum is changeable with using the same problem and the result looks like same. We cannot distinguish which one is maximum and which one is minimum. It's interesting. So second, wind going to city to get a comfortable wind load like this. And the third on demand city to get the adequate uh, layout of the facilities. It uh, looks like the dinner table program. And this is the generated city block to generate a good street. Here, 
what means a good street? It is necessary, necessary to define goodness for the loads. So we select two criteria. One is speed and one is interest. The program calculates all the relationship of all points in these, these two criteria and make scores. This video made 1994 a long time ago. That this is first as uh, these are two criteria: accessibility and interest, and cal calculate the relationship of all the points and make the score. This is a generating program, and this is evaluating program, and this is the score, and we select the splendid program and apply it to the actual site. This is the score, accessibility, and interest, like this. Here, the size of road depends on the axis of calculating. So some roads used not so much, then it became seen, and the load used so often becomes a fact. The design is not come from top down, but a bottom up design, and apply to some actual site. So this is induction design, our induction series program set. Then next one, this web frame. Web frame is realized in substation in Dabashi. This is underground uh, structure, like networks, and here there are two requirements. One is absolute, and the other is soft. Absolute requirements are made of uh, numbers of branches and angles and area. And soft requirement, architect, the demand of architect, large space, high density, and so on. So keeping these two kinds of request program gloves as it like underground like the loot of a plant searching for water soft soil and depending on the gravity so web frame itabashi station is the first world first architecture generated by this kind of program to solve the requested conditions. And next, this KDQ1 about structure. The beginning is comparing the artificial materials and the natural materials. So natural materials is changing depending on the request, the stress. So the load can and the program select the adequate size of members of each point. This is actual architecture work completed, Shin Minamata Gate. So recently, this kind of program is popular, named topology optimization or generative design. But our work is far earlier than these ones. And this is another version applied to the shell structure. And then another program, private city. Private city comes from privacy and the city. It's aimed to avoid this kind of situation in the collective housing. Maybe it's necessary. Not avoiding to seeing each other, the units. But considering the senior citizen units, it may be better 
to see whether they have some vis- visibility to checking the health, the daily behavior, and so on. So here is two contradicted requirements. One is not to see, and the other is to see. So program try to solve these opposite conditions at the same site and the same planning. This is the program. The spear is the direction and the length of the eye line. The purple ones are usual units and the green ones are elderly units. And the yellow plane is the main window plane. The spear is the distance of eye line. So here, contradicted requirements can be cooperate with. Okay, next one. Motorukan. Program of Pro. Here, the purpose is to get the beautiful form, the favorite form for one architect, for one person, your beautiful form. So usually, it is possible to get the beautiful form only by hand. The program is not necessary. But the reason that I wanted to make this program is that this field is the most difficult field for AI. So I want to try it. This is the process of this program. It's made of two parts. This is neural network AI circuit and this is the genetic algorithms circuit and they are joined. And first you send some image to the, the program and the program returns something. If you think, yes, it's okay, but usually it's no, so send back it again. Then finally, the program returns the answer that you think, okay, it's good. So this is actual answers from AI. And then this is actual architecture. The TX Kashiwanoha campus station constructed. Here, the problems confronting is that the program AI do not jump from here to here. When a program reach this small peak, it doesn't want to go down and never reach here. So we cannot get this substantial highest peak. This is one problem. And there are other difficulties. So this question comes again. Next, this is ongoing project ITECT, PBM, Project Beautiful Mind. It's also aiming to get a beautiful form for you. Here, the definition of beauty is almost favorite and it has many meanings. And we have some pretty cool, amazing, desirable, nice, cute present, not bad, unique, curious, or maybe 
sometimes ugly included. It depends on you. Then, for example, this form is generated by this program and it is decided by with these parameters, but there are many parameters, so it is not possible to find a nice one to choosing the parameters by hand. And this is program. First program send this line slider and you choose a slider and the finder position not so bad. This one, or this one, or this one. Okay, around here. Yeah. Not, yes. So, suggest the button, push. Then the program send another slider to repeat this process. If you cannot find any nice position on this line, you just push this back button. The here, the line is not a usual line, it's a three-dimensional curve in, no, multi-dimensional curve in multi-dimensional space. So it's not possible to visualize. No two-dimensional, no three-dimensional. And uh, this program doesn't require much teacher data. Usual AI requires huge amount of teaching data. This program doesn't require it. It's uh, interactive, one by one, and it is a so-called baby glowing type, like this. So the one slider, the left side is faithful for your selection, and the right side is more avant-garde, sometimes beyond your selection, faithful and not so faithful. Any form is possible for this AI. This is a joint research and developing program with the researcher in Tokyo University and programmer and web designer and Tamika University in Taiwan. It's not completed, ongoing. So, trying to des bring design closer to science is bringing the design closer to a white box, our efforts. Then we reached algorithmic design. But to make more advanced work here, we reached in or are reaching in a black box called AI. That is ITIC. It's an interesting contradiction. To aiming to turn black box design to white box algorithmic design means to make black box ITIC design. Then what comes next? Maybe. Next, self-explainable AI will come. Black box AI turn to a white box again. Maybe, not sure. So intuition, black box. Logic, white box. These are not the opposite side of a single, on a single line, but maybe making a loop. So, if you could find something that you are interested in this lecture, my website will be also interesting for you too. There, not only the architect field that is today's topic, but also as a fields, architecture, drawings, art, books, and even 
literature in it. See you in some virtual world or hopefully in real world in near future. Thank you. Bye.